All right, man, do you guys remember this video right here that I posted a few months back? The hidden gems in my collection video where I took a bunch of figures out of my collection and showcased them. Maybe they'd be a fix-up, a custom, a simple custom and whatnot. And I say simple in the fact that there's not a lot going on. It may be a few part swaps here and there, a couple part swaps, maybe a little bit of paint. And I don't think any of the customs we're showing off to here today have any paint. So you could make these happen yourselves without any custom requirement. You know, all you gotta do is swap some parts. Nonetheless, man, today we're gonna be dive into more hidden gems in the collection because I got more to show off and I, I love these figures man. Our first figure man is going to be this updated Randy Orton the elite fan takeover now you guys know that originally this was in his evolution or legend killer look it had the short haircut he had no tattoos whatsoever white wrist tape well we fixed it up man and what's good about this is you don't have to switch the whole torso all you have to do is switch the upper torso with a modern Randy Orton in this case I think this is the elite 67 Randy Orton I think it was he has the tattoos in there this is this is clean as hell I love this this gear, almost like San Diego Chargers looking. Got like the lighter blue with the gold and black trim. I love this figure. This is just immaculate. As a big Randy Orton guy, I always enjoyed this figure. And I want to showcase it here today in the Hidden Gems. This is a Hidden Gem. And you know, the, the idea of the Hidden Gem is maybe a figure that you didn't know was in the collection. Maybe you jumped in late or maybe, I know we did the room tour and whatnot, but maybe you didn't catch them. It's, it's one of those figures, a Hidden Gem in your collection is a figure that maybe would pass by and you wouldn't necessarily notice it. And it's one of those Hidden Gems. It's an immaculate figure, but you may not notice it. It may blend in with the, be the rest of your collection. Next up, another great one, man. This one, I, oh man. Th these, the figures that appear in these videos are why I love collecting and why we do action figure surgery. Next up, we have this 2005 inspired Triple H. Now, this is a really awesome one. This is one of my favorite Triple H head sculpts, especially in like the cartoon quote-unquote era of Mattel. You know, way before True Effects. This is, you know, when it, they just knocked it out of the park with the head sculpt before the True Effects. This is a battle pack head sculpt that I think came with Brock Lesnar or it may have been one of those Walmart exclusive t-shirt series or maybe Kmart maybe a Kmart exclusive I can't remember the exact thing but this is that head sculpt and we put it on the decade of domination Triple H Elite and one thing about the decade of domination you guys know that he has the it's that one random time that he wore like sliding shorts or a girdle style titan fitted trunks underneath his original wrestling tights from the Elimination Chamber match. And all you gotta do is switch out the thighs for different Triple H thighs because he's on ball joints. Give him some nice 2005 era boots. And this looks like a beautiful representation of a 2000, late 2004. I want to say it was 2005 though. I think this is like a 2005 Triple H with the red game in there. This is clean as hell. Love that figure right there. Those are great. Next up, we have my man Dolph Ziggler. And this one's very simple, man. All you gotta do is get a basic Dolph Ziggler with black hand tape. I think there's only one basic that has this. I can't remember exactly, but it is basic. Or, I mean, I guess you could get a, a Dolph Ziggler with black hand tape. I just prefer this version because the arms are more lean. They're more cut. They're not gigantic like they, they like to give him. So he does have these smaller black wrist tape arms or black hand tape. And then we put this custom Ziggler hoodie on here. And then we put the black version of his boots. Now, this figure originally did have white boots and white wrist tape with gigantic arms. So this makes it look a lot more realistic. It looks very clean. Dude, just godly. These fix-ups make the world go around. If only, like these figures look like they're official because they, they have no paint chip. You're not going to have any paint chipping. This feels like an official figure from Mattel, so that's what makes it awesome. So adjust the camera down a little bit right here, Bradley. Next up, we got a couple AJ Styles figures, and the first one is going to be the Network Spotlight fix-up. Now this, is, this originally or used to be like one of the better AJ Styles head sculpts. This is the Elite 66 head sculpt, and we pretty much just used some random AJ Styles arms with interchangeable hands. We put some Rey Mysterio white gloved hands in there with the blue gauntlets to fit the blue armband. Now I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure this figure originally had a red armband, but we switched it out with an Elite 56 or something. Maybe it was the AJ Styles Elite that came in the Finn Balor 2 pack. We switched out the arm so it would have the armband and then we put the gloves in there and then we switched out his kick pads with all blue. So he does have like the blue gauntlets and stuff. So the red just kind of looks like an accent point. So now it's mainly a white and blue attire with red accents and I think it looks clean as hell. I think he won the Revolutionary Championship in this attire so that's pretty cool as well but there is that and then we have this one which was his Hell's Gate attire from the MDT Pick Fed which is this Elite 51 fix up. So this is the Elite 66 head sculpt again. Switched out the arms I'm pretty sure or made it where he could have interchangeable arms somehow. 
Maybe it was one of the top talents figures or something that had interchangeable arms. Put that on the Elite 51 because they didn't have interchangeable arms just yet. And then we put the top talents AJ Styles kick pads on there that are in this gray and white. So the gray and white ties into the white and silver you get on the, the attire. And I'm pretty sure when they released the Elite 51, this is the right kick pads. Like This is the kick pads I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be wearing upon release. But we also put open knee pads on it. And it just, dude, what a clean figure. And again, you're not going to have any paint rub and it pretty much makes its own brand new attire which makes it a great fix up those are my favorite fix ups man when it looks like an official gear or an official figure when you're just frankenstein efforting these figures and mixing and matching parts that is the best of all time but next up this one's i mean i don't know if this is a hidden gem but this is just one of my personal favorite fix ups we've ever done it is the kenny omega supreme collection and all we did was add this custom bullet club sleeveless tank top shirt from pwr lucha and put it underneath here so it looks like like he's got a leather jacket, a Bullet Club shirt, a necklace, everything going on, man. Like how poseable this figure is, how badass he looks. This is just a mean looking custom with the one wing on the back. Just a, a, and no paint, man. You're not going to get any paint. It's not going to stain or anything. This is a great figure. Very poseable. Love this Kenny Omega. One of my favorites in the collection, man. Just one of those you pick up and pose around. It looks aesthetically pleasing. Absolute epic figure right there with the Kenny Omega. Next up, we have our Doc Hendricks. Build a figure elite Seth Rollins. Now, this is pretty much just popping the battle pack Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre or the championship showdown two pack Seth Rollins head sculpt that it came with a Drew McIntyre I'm pretty sure he had the fur coat on and the black long sleeves and like his messiah gear and he had this man bun smiling head sculpt then you put it on the Doc Hendricks build a figure elite and boom you have a pink suit Seth Rollins I'm pretty sure that figure is kind of hard to come by I don't ever remember seeing that full wave it was always a wave where I wanted to buy multiples to have multiple pink suit guys because this is pinless upper body's pinless he does have pins in the legs but a pink suited body you have these double jointed pinless arms and you can put a lot of people in this pink suit i wanted to put myself in this pink suit it's just very poseable no customaries you know required and it looks like rollins in a suit man what else could you what else could you want it, it looks beautiful so that seth rollins figure is killing it next up our next figure is going to be this elite 73 alistair black fix up now originally the elite 73 alistair black it did have like the one like you know textured kick pad and the one blank kick pad I do believe but I put some and he didn't have wrist tape for whatever reason so I did put some like Rey Mysterio gauntlets on there they may be Undertaker I can't remember but that gave him black wrist tape without any paint then I did replace the lower legs with Seth Rollins lower legs gave him the cash in Toys R Us exclusive Seth Rollins knee pads to give him that gold trim because there is gold graphics on the back of this gray attire and then I plugged some original Aleister Black a Elite kick pads into the Seth Rollins lower legs to give him a boost of height. So that's what you had to do back in the day with Aleister Black. Now Malachi Black from AEW and Jazzwares are way too damn big and his Mattel figures were too, way too damn small and so now it's really hard to get a hybrid of the two. So now your Aleister Black figures are going to be either A, too massive, B, too short, or you can make them pretty much of the money height, but he's only got single jointed arms. So it's just a bunch of hell. Another underrated gem in the collection, man. Elite 69 Rey Mysterio fix up, merging pretty much with the Elite 72. So this is the Elite 69 torso, arms, and legs. Like crotch legs and torso and arms are all from the Elite 69 Ray. Then you take the Elite 72 Ray Mysterio head sculpt, armbands, gauntlets, gloves, and boots, and you have this really sweet green, white, and black attire. I just love how everything contrasts. All the colors mix together perfectly, and the Elite 72 Ray Mysterio was fantastic as well, but I like the green and white. It really like pulls it all together, and then you have like some black outlines on the tights. This one really pulls together, really poseable. Again, you don't have to worry about any paint chip, man. It's it, it, no paint chip. You're not going to paint chip this guy's pose around. You can pose around every figure in this video, and you'll never have to worry about the paint chipping off or something like that. I mean, yes, over time, figures chip. You know, if you if you po if you did, like, multiple pick-fed matches with the same figure over and over and over and over again, and you're constantly posing it and whatnot, you are going to get some factory paint chip. Like, Mattel figures even paint chip sometimes between the rubbing and, you know, joint rub and all these different things. You will lose graphics and stuff like that. However, it's not going to be like a custom where it just chips off and flakes off a super 
horribly, so that's just something to note. But next up is, I believe this is Elite 80 Ricochet, and I want to say originally, I can't remember exactly, but I, I think he did have wrist tape, like black wrist tape, but I did replace his right arm or his left arm with a Jeff Hardy Elite 67 Chase arm, so it looks like he's wearing a sleeve. You guys know I love sleeves with the athletic background, man. I like, the, like guys like Ricochet, Finn Balor, these guys that wear sleeves in the ring, I can relate to that because every every year in football and basketball, I always rock the sleeve, so it's like, I don't know, it's kind of cool to see that take place, but mixing this Nightwing gear with the blue sleeve is chef's kiss. I like this a lot. This is a, a fire ricochet right there. always like that one. Very underappreciated. Even if he is too tall, I can live with it. At least it's badass looking. I'd rather it be a slight, I think I'd rather a figure be slightly too tall than slightly too small, if that makes sense. Like, if a guy's 5'8", I'd rather him look 5'9", or 5'10", than look 5'5". Five five, you know what I mean? And the last figure that we have in this Fix Ups video, or this Hidden Gems video, is just such a chef's kiss, man. And I'll explain everything in here, man, but we have one of my favorite superstars. We have Finn Balor right here. Now, this one is excellent. It looks very similar to a figure that we put in our last Hidden Gems video. But this is the ringside exclusive Finn Balor with the Elite 74 head sculpt, the ringside exclusive knee pads, and the Elite 74 lower legs. So when you flip this around, you have that black and white graphic on the back with the gold that outlined it. That's the kick pads that he was wearing back then. And this is inspired pretty much by his gear that he wore in that NXT UK show when he took on Jordan Devlin, I think it was. Looks pretty much identical to that gear. It's very, very close. Again, he does have Balor Club on there, so it's not in, you know, it's not perfectly ideal, but again, no paint on this. You can pose this guy around. You're not going to have to worry about anything like that. I wish I could have double jointed arms on all of these Finn Balor figures that we've fixed up over the years. I mean, they're still usable. You can still use them, but the, 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 the addition of butterfly joints on Ultimates and the addition of double jointed arms on Elites really makes it where I, if I'm going to be using a figure, I really would like it to be all the way upgraded, but I guess, again, that's just the stance of collecting, man. We'll continue to fix up figures and make nice fix-ups on surgery and different things as things come out but that is our last hidden gem man really love that Finn Balor figure but yeah man I love all these figures these figures are sweet there's so many damn good ones and uh I had to make another video on the hidden gems I thought it would make for another great video here man a lot of fix-ups in the works behind the scenes I have a lot of ideas for some surgeries and some different things we do have some parts on the way for more surgery as well got an Undertaker fix-up I want to do got a couple Finn Balor fix-ups I want to do and again they're going to be sort of hidden gem style figures they're going to be these Frankenstein efforts where we're comparing and or we're combining and doing these different things that I'm excited about, man. But nonetheless, that is pretty much going to wrap up the Hidden Gems video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your support. But that is pretty much going to wrap it up, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below on all these figures. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Have a blessed one. And I'll catch you later.